a voice activated USB light that only costs 80 pesos. Is it legit or is it a scam? Let's plug it into my USB power bank. The light comes on, that's a good start. Turn off, turn off, brighten, dim, nothing happens. So I thought to myself, maybe it's a scam. I took a risk in the first place. I didn't read the reviews, it's very cheap. But then I looked at my box and I thought, hey, why is my box in Chinese? And everyone else who left a review, their box is in English. So I looked up on the translator app how to say turn off in Chinese. Kuan dang. Huh? Kai dang. Kai dang. Well, my Chinese is not brilliant, but there you go. Uh, let's bring over Google to help us out. Hey Google, be my Chinese translator. Off the light. Guan dang. Turn on the light. Change the color. Change color. I'm not sure how well you can see on the camera, but it is actually changing between yellow and white. So long story short, can you get a USB smart lamp for just 80 pesos voice activated? Yes, you can. But if the seller sends you the Chinese version, you better make sure you learn the keywords. You can turn it on, off, brighten it, dim it, change the color. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty clever how they managed to do all of that for 80 pesos. That's like one and a half US dollars. But that's not all we're going to talk about today. We'll also talk about some of my favorite flashlights because a lot of people have been asking me about what kind of lights I use. Now, there are actually many flashlights just like this. In fact, I have some that look very similar. Why is this my favorite? Well, first of all, the magnet on the end, it's much stronger compared to other brands. That's good if you want to stick it to the side of a car or a metal pole or anything else. Second, and this is very important, this clip here, what does that mean? Well, I can put it on my cap. I can now look down at whatever I want and I have both hands free. So that's a very useful feature. The next useful feature about the clip is you may have noticed this actually has LEDs on the side. So if I press the button three times, I get into those modes. First of all, I have a side white light that could be useful. Secondly, I have a flashing white light. That's great because I can clip it on my shirt or jacket or whatever it is. And if I'm standing in the middle of a road, people can see me, right? Very, very useful. Although I don't usually use white, I would use red, either constant or flashing. So again, I can clip it on here. People can see me. I can put it on my hat facing up like this. So if there's any cars, motorcycles, cyclists, they can see me from a distance. Very useful feature. And if you see this bluey purplish light on the side, that's actually UV for seeing hidden or security marks on money, licenses and things like that. It's not super powerful, but it's good enough to at least see it. But if you really want to see UV security marks, even under sunlight, this is the one you need from a lone fire. See this money here, if we flash the light, you see that security feature? Now you might be wondering why are you using Vietnamese money when the Philippines already has its own polymer money and this also has UV security marks. Well, I read somewhere that it's illegal to show the UV marks on the Philippine peso, the polymer peso. I don't know if it's true. Honestly, I do not know if it's true, but it's not worth taking the chance. So maybe if anyone's watching this and they know if that's legit or if it's not, you could tell me. So for now, we're just using Vietnamese money. You can also do it with the Philippine driver's license. There's an eagle there when you flash a UV light. And I've lost count of the number of times people comment on my page, oh, you're an idiot. I have a new license. I got it from LGO. It doesn't have an eagle. You're wrong. Not all licenses have it. And then I say to them, what kind of flashlight did you use? I use the flashlight on my phone. It's not the right type of flashlight. It has to be a UV flashlight, ideally somewhere between 360 to 390 nanometers. That's how you're gonna see the Eagle on the Philippine license. Now, if you don't want to pay so much for a UV light that you're only going to use occasionally, you can actually buy this keychain version. I think this is only something like 50 pesos. It's USB rechargeable. All of these are USB rechargeable, by the way. No like replaceable batteries or anything like that. They're all lithium batteries. So this one actually works very well. Now bear in mind, I actually have lights on me right now because we're shooting a video. 
In reality, this is much brighter to the human eye. See the security feature there on the money? So this is a very good option if you need to check money, driver's licenses and other documents that have UV marks. The other light that I've been using a lot recently is this one. And you might say, hey, that looks familiar. Yeah, it's basically the big brother of this one that I showed you earlier. Very similar, but it has a much bigger battery, much bigger magnet. It still has the lights on the side, but there's a few things I don't like about this. First of all, the UV they used, it's the wrong wavelength. So it's no good for checking most money and most driver's licenses. The clip is good. I can still put it on my cap and I can use it as a light walking around. That's very cool. Battery is very big. That's great. But the control button, they messed up. On the small light, you can do three clicks to get to the side, two clicks to get to the front, single click to go through. On this one, it's just single click for everything. Look, there's no double click, no triple click. The other thing is you can't have red by itself you can only have red and blue flashing like this, which obviously I don't want to use because that should be reserved for emergency services. The next thing is the UV light they used. It's no good for money. It's no good for driver's licenses. Here, look, let me show you. <clears throat> this is the same note I showed you earlier. You cannot see the security mark. Basically, it's a wrong wavelength. So you might be thinking, well, what is the purpose of the UV light? Why did they include it at all? Well, it's because this has a glow-in-the-dark body. Uh, I have to turn off the lights. So as you can see, both of these flashlights actually glow in the dark, which is a really cool feature. It makes it very easy to find them if you suddenly lose power or you're outside, something like that. If they could remake this flashlight with the same chip that they use in this one and then replace the UV with the correct wavelength, this would be an amazing everyday carry. The magnet's stronger, the battery's bigger, the LEDs are brighter, the clip is stronger. This would just be basically a perfect flashlight. Now here's another light, but I've primarily been using this at home. Again, USB rechargeable. Like I said, all of these are USB rechargeable. I don't really take this outside, but it's just great for around the house because it's such a bright and wide light. So if you just need an extra bit of light while you're doing something, you can just quickly put this on the side. It has two brightness models, so that's the dimmer version. And that's it, one button, two modes, on off, a pretty good battery life and pretty affordable price. This is from Alone Fire. It seems like I have a, a thing with Alone Fire, right? I do have lots of other flashlights, lots of other brands. It just so happens that these are the ones I'm using more often. That's why I'm talking about them. And here's a flashlight that I think looks absolutely beautiful. This is the V10. It has a very large battery, very strong magnet, a good UV on the front, I'll show you. So even under all this lighting, you can see that it can make the secret UV marks appear. That's a separate LED on the front, which is nice, but it has a really weird feature. And let me show. That's right, you hold down the button, it sets off the red and blue flashing and makes a kind of siren noise. The problem is, I just cannot understand why. Because the siren is so quiet. Inside, you can only just about hear it. Outside, with the noise of traffic and just general everyday noise, you cannot hear this. Even from like, say 10 feet away no one is going to hear this and if they did hear it they're going to think it's nothing because it's so quiet i have no idea why they did it i've never seen this on a flashlight like this before it's such a weird feature it doesn't really matter just don't use that feature it's just so weird that they added it in the first place if it was super loud i could understand it let's say you're stuck somewhere or I wouldn't say if someone's attacking you, it's better to just run away. Let's say you're stuck somewhere, you want people to find you, you hold that down, it makes a loud noise. But it's just very quiet. Again, the side lights are very good. It has a bright white, it has a yellow, which is a little bit unusual, but cool. It has a green, again, that's unusual, but cool to have that option. You have red, solid, I like that. That's very good for night vision. You have blue, solid, again, pretty cool. Then you have red flashing. Again, brilliant. You put this on the back of your car if you broke down or your motorcycle, at least it's an extra warning for people. Then you have red and blue flashing, which a lot of people use. Even cyclists use this on their bike. I don't think you should. I think it should be reserved for emergency services. But you could use that for, let's say you're shooting a video 
and you want to make a drama drama right you're pretending you flash out on a window something like that like a storytelling episode could be useful so yeah this is a very nice light and all in one the v10 and it just looks absolutely gorgeous and of course like i mentioned earlier this does glow in the dark so that pretty much sums up the lights that i use on a daily basis just a quick video i hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions especially about the flashlights just let me know and i will try to respond when i can thanks for watching